Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I teach you how to use my writing machine. If you want to write or draw by machine for a school or college project, then you are at the right place. If you want to make this machine at home, then go to the description of this video to watch the full details of making a writing machine. You can buy all parts or a fully assembled machine from me. The price of all parts and assembled machines is given in the description. First of all, open the writing machine software download manual that you received on WhatsApp. Then scroll down to get the download link. There are three links of software and one extension required for the assembled writing machine. Click on the Arduino ID software link to open it in your browser. Arduino IDE is used only for the driver of the Arduino Uno. Click on Windows. If your computer's operating system is Windows 10 or newer, click Just Download, then click Just Download once more. Now you will see the Arduino I downloading in progress here. Now we'll open a PDF to download the second software. Click on Inkscape 0.92 to open the link in the browser. Download only the .92 version of this software, because the other version is not working. Click on Windows, then click on 64-bit, and then click on Installer in .exe format. Now you can check if the download is running. Now open a PDF to download the third software. Click on the Universal G-Code Sender for the open link in the browser. Then click on Windows 64-bit. Then you can check the progress of the zip file download. Now open PDF to download the fourth extension. Click on the Inkscape 4 Axie extension to download it from my Google Drive. Then click on the right-hand side three dots to get the download option. Then click on Download, and you can see the right bottom of the screen preparing to download. After some time, you can check the download here. Wait some time until all software downloads are complete. Now make a new folder to move all software to this folder. I renamed this new folder as Software for Writing Machines. Now open the File Explorer and copy all the software from the download folder. Then paste all the software into this new folder. Now extract the Universal G-Code Sender folder to unzip. For this, right-click on the folder and click on Extract All. Then click on Extract in the new dialog box. Now right-click on the 4 AxiDraw folder to Extract. Click on Extract All, and then click on Extract. Now delete the zip folder that you downloaded and keep the extracted folder. Now it's time to install software. First, install Arduino EDE software by clicking on this. Then click on I agree. Then install and wait some time to complete the installation. After a complete installation, click on finish. Wait some time to open the Arduino IDE software. Then close the software. Now install the Inkscape 0.92 software. Click on OK. Then next, then next, then install. Wait some time to complete the software installation. Then uncheck to run Inkscape, and then click Finish. Third software doesn't need to be installed. Just open the UGS folder, then open the bin folder, and then you get the UGS Platform 64 icon. Simply create a shortcut by right-clicking on this icon. Click on the Show More option to get the Create Shortcut option. Now right-click on this shortcut and cut. Then paste it on your desktop. Now we have Gate 3 software on desktop. But we only need to add extensions to Inkscape. For this, open the 4 Axie Draw folder, then select All Files and Copy. Then right click on the Inkscape software icon and click on the Open File location. Then click on the Share folder, then click on the Extension folder and paste here all that file. Click on Replace the file in the destination, then click on Continue. Now all the software setup is complete. The second step is to create a simple design and run the writing machine. To make a design, open Inkscape and open the file menu to open the document property. Set page size as the writing machine's maximum working area. Our machine's maximum width is 170 millimeters and its height is 290 millimeters. Then click enter to change the page size. Then close this dialog box. Then zoom for increased visibility. I first try a simple word for writing something. For this, Click on the text icon from the left side bar, and then click on the page and write Creativity Buzz. Move this writing to the left bottom corner. Then open the extension menu and click on KM Laser, and then click on Hershey Text to change the font of the writing machine. Click on the Live Preview button to get a preview of this font. The writing machine only understands this font. You can change different fonts from the font drop-down button. Select any font from this list and click Apply. Then close this dialog box. Then to export this design as a G-code, Open the extension menu, click on 4 Axie Draw Tools, and then click on Generate Pen Servo G-Code. Now this box is very important for pen up and down. 
Change the pin down command to M05. Servo up angle is 50. Servo pin down is 10%. You can increase the pin up angle if you want more pin ups. Then give the address of the folder in the directory where you want to save this G code file. Now make one new folder to save this G code on the desktop. I give the name of the new folder as G code. Then open this folder and copy the address of this folder from the top menu. Paste this address into the directory and change the file name if you want to. But don't change .g code after the file name. You need to make the setting only once. After this, the software automatically saves this setting. Then click on the apply button and wait some time to save this file to our G code folder. After that, close this dialog box and check that a, that a new file was created in our G code folder. Now open Universal G code Sander software. We need these three dialog box controller state, toolbox, and jog controller. And arrange these three dialog boxes as per I range. Controller state dialog box used for machine connected idle state or not. Jog controller used for make X axis and Y axis move manually. Toolbox used for set machine as home. Now connect 12 volt adapter to writing machine at bottom female pin. Then connect USB cable to Arduino Uno female pin. Then connect 12 volt adapter to your home power supply and switched on. You can see red light on adapter if adapter switched on. Now you can check connection of all port here. This is not our writing machine port. Now connect USB cable to computer for get writing machine port here. Now you can see our writing machine port appears as new port. Select these port and click on this connection button for connect. Now check status connecting at controller state dialog box. When writing machine connected to computer, it will change status as idle. Now I change step size value as 20% for move 20 millimeters manually. Change feed rate 3000 for speed of manual move. This is not our writing machine speed. This speed is for only move of manually. Now click X plus one time to move our X axis 20 millimeters. Now also try Y plus to move our Y axis 20 millimeters. Make sure that if you click on X plus, then the X axis moves in the direction of X plus. If the axis moves wrong, then your wiring is not perfect. Type M03S50 in the console to move the pen up manually. Then type M05 seconds 10 to move the pen down. Now pen up and down is working perfectly. Now open our design from the G code folder. You can see design in the visualizer box on the right side. Now move the writing machine axis with your hand to the home position as per the video. Insert a pen in the pen holder and tighten all two bolts. Make sure the pen touches the page perfectly. Then click on reset zero to make this position a home. Then click the play button to start writing. If the machine was running perfectly but not writing, then your pen was not touching the page perfectly. Try this design some time for a better idea of this machine. The price of all parts and assembled machines is given in the description.